Good afternoon and happy Friday, everybody. My name is Amy Todd with Amy's Creative Wishes. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And today we're going to make this card um, and folded flat. It doesn't look like a fun fold, but it is. Bring it up like this. And it's an easel card. So we're only doing the one card today because there's a bit more steps to it and... Um, I only have time for one card, but, um, it's a good one. So let's put that aside and bring in our supplies. So I have a piece of So Saffron cardstock, measures four and a quarter by 11. I have scored it at two and three quarters and at five and a half. I have two pieces of Granny Apple Green cardstock. They measure three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then on my original, I used Whisper White or basic, basic White. Today I'm gonna to use Very Vanilla. So these two measure um, three and three quarters by five. And then I have a, a strip of Very Vanilla. That's a half inch strip for the sentiment for the inside. So, oh, and I have scrap pieces in all those three colors. So saffron, very vanilla, and granny apple green. So let's start by stamping and punching. Start with the very vanilla. I'm going to get my so saffron ink. And I'm stamping the larger, oh, I should show you the stamp set, sorry. We are using the Daisy Lane stamp set. I'm using the larger Daisy right here. And so saffron ink. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to wobble the camera. And when you're stamping, here, take this off. When you're stamping the Daisy, you wanna make sure that you're stamping it so that the petals are up and down that way the, it will fit in the punch. So here's one. We're stamping two. So two daisies. Um, what else are we stamping and punching? Well, we're punching a couple of leaves, or not leaves, sprigs from the sprig punch. So I'm going to punch out two of those. There's one. Okay, there's two sprigs. And let's punch out the daisies with the large daisy punch. And you just, sorry, just want to line it up. It's hard for me to line it up because the camera's in the way. There's one. And two. So there's the two daisies. And the other thing I'm going to punch is a half inch circle punch. I know this is discontinued. I do apologize, but I know you can get a half inch circle punch at any um, scrapbook store or craft store and maybe even Amazon. So it's a pretty basic punch. You should, you should be able to get it just about anywhere. Um, I've seen punches even at Walmart sometimes, so maybe even Walmart. Okay. So that's all our punched pieces. Oops. I will be using the very vanilla, or the so saffron again in a minute here, but I just want to put all these pieces aside. While we do some stamping on the very vanilla. So for the first one, 
I'm going to get the Granny Apple Green. And I'm stamping this leaf image. And I seem to be short my blocks at the moment, so probably because I'm setting up for classes and okay so I'm gonna here let me get this off so you can see what I'm doing I'm done with that so I'm gonna stamp it down at the bottom and then going up towards the top but not right at the top and then I'm gonna stamp another And then I'm going to stamp the stem right, oh, no, right about there. And then another one right about there. You know what? I want to fill this. Make that more green. Okay, and now we're going to go to the So Saffron. And the little daisy. This, this daisy and stems and stuff don't have a punch or a die. But they're fairly easy to fussy cut if you wanted to do that. There we go. And with my early espresso, yes, early espresso stamp and write marker, I'm going to do what they call a flicking technique. So let me move my ink pads out of the way. I don't want to get any ink on my ink pads. So I'm, I'm using the brush tip and the pen lid, and I'm just flicking. And see, that just gives it some added texture. Plus, if there's any smudging or mistakes or anything on it, it hides that. It, it looks like it was intentional that way. So, that's the front layer. Let's do the inside layer, which I didn't show you completely. So here's the easel card, and when you lift it up, it still has some leaves and a stem and one of the mini flowers. So let's let's do that. Oh, I got some of the brown ink on there. Let's turn it over. So I'm going to take the granny apple ink. This time I'm going to stamp off. I want it a little bit lighter for the inside. I'm going to stamp off the stem as well. And open the so saffron again. And with the little daisy, just like so. I meant to stamp that off too, but that's okay. And, oh, no, we're not done with our stamping on the front layer. We have to stamp Smile. And I'm using Early Espresso ink to stamp the sentiments. So I just want to bring this a little closer to me. And I'm going to stamp it right there. There we go. And then that little half-inch... Um, scrap. I'm going to use early espresso again. And I'm thinking, I'm stamping, it's your time to shine. I like this sentiment. It's good for almost anything. I mean, you wouldn't want to send this card for sympathy. But um, for their birthday or just thinking of you or graduation. Anything like that. And then I'm taking the, oh my goodness, let me look it up. I've forgotten the name. 
Lovely Labels Pick a Punch, I want to say. But let me just look it up here. Yes, Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. And I don't know if you can see it or if there's a glare. I'm using this side right here. I just I insert it and show through the back so I know that I'm lining it up. And then I'm going to cut it. I'm going to trim it here so I can feed this side in as well. And there we go. We have the sentiment for the inside. And that sentiment helps hold up the easel card. And what I forgot to mention, I wrote it, um, I'm actually casing this card, um, at least the front of it, by a woman named Donna Kopensky. I might be saying that name wrong, and if I am, I apologize. Um, but she did this card. She just did it, did it as a regular card. I turned mine into an easel. Um, but I love, I love that look of this card. So I thought it would be fun to copy it and to share it with all of you. Okay. So these two layers are going to be layered onto our granny apple green layers. So how about I do that? Oh boy. I just realized I left my... I was working on paper pumpkins yesterday and I was watching TV at the same time, so my adhesive is upstairs. So I'll just grab a new one here. And yes, I know, I apologize. I'm still using regular snail that we don't have anymore, but the stamp and seal is better than the snail. Okay, so well, that looks bigger for some reason. Yeah, that looks better. I must have cut this grindy apple green one wrong, but um, it'll be fine. Um, okay, and now we have to attach those to our card base. So I want to fold the five and a half inch mark, burnish it with my bone folder, and I want to fold also at the two and three quarter inch mark. That's the halfway point of five and a half. So it's gonna fold like this. Right? But let's add in our inside layer. Okay, so there's our inside layer. And our sentiment will be popped up on dimensionals for the inside. Because normally I wouldn't pop up um, a sentiment on the inside. But because this is an easel card, you need something on the inside to hold this. So we pop up the sentiment. It doesn't have to be a sentiment. It can be... Um, an image of some sort, but I recommend a small one. You don't want anything too big. See, and then that just sits like that. Okay. And now to attach this layer, you don't want to put glue all over it, otherwise you'll glue it down and it won't be an easel card anymore. You only want glue on this portion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my layer upside down. I'm going to put it where I would put it on my card. 
and I can see the score line. So I'm not going to put any adhesive past that score line. And then you can flip it back over and line it up. And this has a bigger green layer on the outside, but that's okay. Okay, and now we want to bring in our flower pieces and our sprigs. And I'm going to use mini glue dots to put the flower together. And I generally like to use two. So one and two. See if you can see those glue dots. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's two there. And I've got one on my finger. Oh, wow. Okay, so you just want to offset the flowers so that it makes one full flower. And then with my bone folder, what I like to do is just ever so slightly, don't do it too rough because you could rip the petals, but I'm curling up the flower. And then with a dimensional, I'm putting on the little yep, uh, so saffron. Is the flower center. There's the flower center, and I'm using my Wink of Stella. I've misplaced my Stampin' Up! one, but this is the same thing. I should order a new one. I'm just, I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but can you see the sparkle? I'm not sure. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Oh, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. I'm not sure if you can see if the camera's picking it up, but it's, it gives it a nice sparkle. And then we're going to use a dimensional on the back of that to pop up the flower that we're putting right down here in the corner. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get some stuff out of my way, get the glue dots out of my way. Um, actually, no, I want the glue dots for the sprigs. So I'm going to just attach a glue dot at the bottom of the sprig. And fit it in like that. And uh, one on the bottom of this sprig. And Fit it in. Oh, what's going on here? And there we go. And that's it. We're done the card. <laughs> I guess this was went by a lot faster than I expected it to. But um, I love the look of an easel card, and it's something I haven't done in a long time. Um, I'm not, I don't remember who I originally got the easel card idea from. There's so many demonstrators out there that have done these cards. Um, so I, I apologize. I can't say a name. It's, it's been too long. I'm not sure. It might've been Don Griffiths. Um, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. As I said, I first saw it years ago and I don't remember who it was, but it definitely is a wow card. At least I think it is. And you can do an easel card with any stamp set. Um, and any sentiment. Um, just about any... Like if I wanted, I could have stamped this on a scrap. Fussy cut it out and I could have used it as the little image down at the bottom to hold the card. But I decided to use the sentiment. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to wiggle the camera. Um, now, Jennifer, you won last week for sharing my video. So if you would, like Jennifer has done, if you would share my video, I would greatly appreciate that. I, um, 
It helps me grow my business. And if you share it and you live in Canada, you'll be entered into a draw. And you'll have your choice between the basic pearl jewels, the star designer elements, and the beaded pearls. If you don't know what the beaded pearls look like, they look like this. Oops, sorry, like this. They're beautiful for the inside of flowers. Um, so yeah, please share it. Please like it um, as well, or give me some hearts if you liked it. And if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate that as well. My YouTube channel is Amy's Creative Wishes. And that's it for today. Um, oh, the there's a... I didn't use designer series paper today, but there is a designer series paper sale. It goes until August 2nd. There's nine different designer series papers in the sale. Um, it's basically all the basic ones, not the des not the specialty designer series papers. Let me see if I can find them in the catalog for you. Um, here we go. So there's the bloom where you're planted, hand penned. Um, I think beauty of the earth. I don't know if you can see that. Beauty of the Earth. Bloom where you're planted. Hand penned. That's three. In good taste. I know that one is for sure. And that's a double pack. So it's more expensive. But it's well worth it. Because it's beautiful paper. It has um, textiles and wood grain and tile and brick. And it's just beautiful. It's great for masculine cards. But put it that way. So that's number four. Um... In the Wild is number five. Pansy Petals is six. Uh, Simply Elegant is not because it's a specialty designer series paper. Um, but the Sweet Symmetry is at seven. Tidings of Christmas, that's eight. And Your Peach, no, that's nine. Yeah, so that I, that's all nine. So they are currently 15% off. As I said, that ends August 2nd. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Amy's Creative Wishes at gmail.com, or you can message me via my Facebook page. Uh, if you would like to shop with me, go to Amy's Creative Wishes.stampinup.net and you can shop with me there. If you're not comfortable with online ordering, just let me know what you'd like to or send me an email. Let me know what you'd like to order, and I can place the order for you. And that's it for today. I thank you so much. And again, one last look at the card for today. Here's the white. Here's the very vanilla. I think I like the very vanilla better. What do you like better? I mean, it's not a drastic difference, but... Um, to me, the very vanilla looks a little bit more rustic. But... But they're both beautiful. And with that flicking technique with the marker, you're never going to get to the same. So you can see the flicking on this one is kind of more to the left. Whereas the one on I did today, it's kind of towards the top and on the right, more on the right hand side. So you're never going to get to the same, but that's what I like about it. So that's it for today. I thank you so much for watching and sharing the video. I hope you have yourselves a wonderful weekend. And you will see me next Friday at 1 p.m. Um, oh, one more, th one more thing. If you're in the Edmonton area and you'd like to come to an in-person card, card class, I'm starting up my card classes again because things are opening up. And I've had both of my COVID shots. So if you've had your COVID shots and you live in Edmonton and you want to get some card making, please... Let me know. I can save a spot for you. My first class is Saturday, August 14th at 1 p.m. Um, obviously, that's Mountain Standard Time. And Okay, I think that truly is it for today. I do apologize. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you again next Friday.
Thank you. Bye-bye.